Hello everyone, this is Casey with Akusha Collectibles. Today we're going to be continuing our rating of three other coin shops in Chicago and giving you our opinion on if you should go to them. So our first coin shop that we'd like to talk about on our adventure through Chicago and their coin shops is Niles Coin Shop. Robert and Mike are the two guys you want to meet when you go to Niles Coin Shop. Down to earth guys. Um, as far as customer service, Robert or Mike will always answer the phone. They'll always be ready to help you either on the phone or in person. Um, I think that their customer service is one of the best that we've seen at some of these coin shops. Aside from that, uh, their pricing is very competitive. Their belief is that you as an individual should make something as well. They're not going to juice the lemon figuratively juice the lemon for all of its worth they're going to leave some room for you if you're wanting to resell in the future um, aside from those things if you get to talking with them they'll show you their passion when it comes to coins and paper money they'll sit down with you they'll show you their their personal collection and you may be there a while but you'll get great exposure and a great education along the way um, as far as cons I wouldn't say that they have a wide assortment of items. Taking into consideration, we came just a, a week after the St. Louis show, so they did sell off quite a bit of their slab coins, but I think that we did buy some quality coins. Here is a Key Date Indian head scent, 1877. Very nice chocolatey color, both on the obverse and the reverse of the coin. We picked up this coin because, one, it is a Key Date, and two, that it is in a relatively good condition and the color is very pleasant to the eye. Moving on to the next coin, we have a nice CC dollar in a rattler, relatively flashy. We bought it because one, it's a CC and it is in a rattler and they demand a relatively nice premium and we have some customers that are looking to set some of these aside in the future. Another relatively uh, popular date, a 1909 VDB wheat scent. Very flashy red color. Very pleasant to the eye and a relatively difficult grade. Here's a picture of the reverse. We picked it up one because of the price and the, the year is very popular as well. I think it's going to be a very good coin for our shop and our customers. And the last coin, it's nothing special, but I think that it has some great potential. It is a nice Franklin half dollar and an NGC fatty. Our thought behind this is that it is gold cack worthy. So stay tuned for a video of this Franklin half dollar of the future and see if we did well with this buy. Here's a nice view of the obverse. We think that it is undergraded. It is currently graded MS65. Um, I've seen quite a few Franklin half dollars in the past and I think that it is more in the 66 range so it should get a gold cack fingers crossed but overall Niles coins was a great experience um, our rating out of 10 for Niles coins would be 8.3 out of 10 so we would recommend from a dealer perspective going there again hey guys I hope you're enjoying today's video so far I'm watching it with you um, if you guys are interested in any coins on our website, use code RAW5 for 5% off any RAW coins or use free ship at checkout for free shipping. Uh, uploading a lot of new purchases this weekend and on Monday, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Let's get back to today's video. The next coin shop that we'd like to talk to you guys about is Pete's Coin and Currency. Pete and his associate, down earth guys, awesome guys that would show you anything, even some of their po personal coins. Aside from that, fun hole in the wall place, great customer service, really fun to talk to like we mentioned. A con for this coin shop is that they don't have a wide assortment of coins. I think that they do a really good job of placing these higher end coins to different customers, but I think that we still made out and found some good coins when we were there. The first coin that we would like to show you is a 1916D graded VG10 by NGC. 
we like this coin because of its grade and how well it's been preserved over all these years. You would think VG10, wow, that's not a crazy grade, but a majority of your 1916Ds are gonna be between your Fair 2 and your AG3. So finding a piece like this is spectacular and it would be great for somebody's Mercury dime set. You're looking at possibly $2,000 for this coin. So it's a bit pricey, but well worth it because you're not gonna find them very often. Moving on to the next coin, we have a 1924 $20 St. Gaudens in a Rattler. Very nice coin. The, the price overall was fantastic. Not too much over melt. We didn't get charged a very large premium for the holder that it's in. I think that it's going to be a very good addition to somebody's Rattler collection, especially if they're into gold. Moving on to the next coin, we have an 1839 2.5 gold piece, classic head. It's a very nice flashy coin, relatively difficult to find. It is a pretty penny, but it was well worth the buy and it was great to hold in hand. Next coin we'd like to show you is this Indian Princess, 1885 gold dollar. We got it mostly because of the PL designation, very flashy coin. We could appreciate the surfaces on both the obverse and the reverse. As of lately, we've been getting into a lot of these flashy PO gold dollars, and I think that our customer base is liking them quite a bit. If we were to give Pete and his coin shop a rating out of 10, we would give Pete's shop a 7.5 out of 10. Just an overall great experience, and we will be back. And for the final coin shop review of this video, we have Lagrange coins. Now on one hand, you have good coin shops, where they have a lot of inventory and their customer service is on point. And then you have mediocre coin shops where the customer service is lacking and they don't have everything that you need. So I would say Lagrange coin shop is in the mediocre category. And let's go over the pros and cons so we could substantiate that opinion. So first of all, first of all, they had a large variety of raw coins. So if you were looking to fill an album, if you were looking to find the missing piece to your collection, they may have it, but it's gonna be raw. Another pro is that they're very fair when it comes to pricing. And that's about all the pros that there are with this coin shop. Moving on to coins, I mean cons. The gentleman that runs the coin shop, he lacks interpersonal skills, so don't expect to talk about life or reminisce about great coin stories because it's not going to happen. He lacks holders, which if you're a person that's looking to buy holdered coins, don't expect to find much. We found maybe uh, a dozen if you were lucky. And then just re-emphasizing, he doesn't have very good personal skills, interpersonal skills, and he's not looking to form a relationship with you or a possible business contact in the future. Now, before I give you the rating, I'd like to show you some of the coin pickups that we picked up at this shop. First one is this nice Cleveland commemorative, which we picked up this coin. It caught my eye because of the nice purple toning on the obverse and the reverse, and that it was in this interesting holder from Hans Tulving. We found it interesting because we have seen quite a few of these, and we haven't seen a Cleveland commemorative in them and we thought that it would be marketable to people that collect Hans Swoving slabs in particular. The next coin is this relatively common date SLQ 1929D. We thought to pick this coin up because it has nice rim toning around the obverse and the reverse, very pleasant to the eye, and we thought that somebody would enjoy this in their book or album, so. Going back to LaGrange's performance out of 10, we would rate LaGrange and their customer service and various other um, items at 3.8 out of 10. So in our personal opinion as a dealer, we would not visit LaGrange again. It is not a good use of our time and we did not find what we needed. Okay everyone, that about wraps it up for these coin shop reviews. 
during our time in Chicago. We hope that you enjoyed them. We hope that you benefit from these reviews. We're looking to steer you in the right direction, and we're not wanting your time to be wasted. If you like these kinds of videos and you want us to do them all across the U.S. or wherever we may visit, leave a like or leave a comment below of where we should travel next, possibly. Weather, coin shop, everything permitting. Um, again, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to, and comment down below if you've had an experience in a coin shop you'd like to rate as well.